Hi at uh, welcome sa channel So sa video na ito, itetest natin yung isang 20k peso build na PC So ito yung Ryzen 3 3100 Isang 8GB single channel So wala siyang kasama Hindi ko rin in-enable yung XMP kasi sa 20,000 roughly 2666 lang yung mabibili mo naman na RAM So para medyo realistic din yung speeds natin sa CPU then, ito naman yung GT1030. For the board na andito, uh, actually B450 Aorus to eh. Pero you can actually choose a cheaper variant para mabot ka sa budget. I will also flash a screen yung Intel counterpart with roughly the same performance. So, actually, hindi talaga siya 20k, no? Around 30k kung bibili ka ng mga monitor and other peripherals. Anyway, sa testing ko, simple lang ang output ko. Kung playable ba yung game, O hindi. So, playable kapag above 60 FPS sa mga first-person shooter games o kaya 30 naman sa iba. Hindi rin nagmamatter kung ika-crank down ko yung settings kasi ang mahalaga enjoyable mo yung smoothness kaysa sa quality. So, ang first game ay CSGO. This is definitely playable. No? FPS is around 80 sa mga malalawak na area. And 100 plus naman sa medyo... Masisikip, no? I, I guess, depende sa dami ng dinadrawing ng GPU. Settings, nasa low to medium lahat. Graphics-wise, okay pa naman. Very tolerable in my opinion. Uh, managed to do a few kills din, no? Next game ay League of Legends. Settings was very high. Definitely playable at uh, 150 plus FPS. I actually tested this game on iGPUs before and so it would absolutely run perfectly on a GT1030 even on highest presets. Dito puro mga bot lang kalaban namin kaya parang ang galing ko. Ah, tapos pansinin nyo na rin yung VRAM usage Nasa 1.5 GB lang So, ayun, kaya ito talaga ng mga iGPU And overkill ang GT1030 para dito Next game ay Valorant. This is my first time playing the game. Kaya pagpasensya nyo na ako dito. Ito pala yung settings niya. Mostly low. Pero 1080p pa rin. So hindi ko talaga naintindihan yung game na to. May mga power sila. Pero baril lang ako ng baril. Nakakadali naman. Also around 150 FPS on average. Which is, which is not bad for the graphics card. Yung mga Riot games parang consistent sila that can run on a lower end graphics card. Aww, try harder. One enemy remaining. There you are, you shit. Many enemies. Enemy kill. Reloading. I got spike. Last player standing. For Genshin Impact, ito yung settings ko. Mostly low. Pero even though low siya, maganda pa rin yung details. I guess dahil mobile game talaga ito, kaya kahit low lang siya sa PC, eh, maganda pa rin yung itsura. 
Nasa 40 to 60 FPS siya which is playable in my opinion. This is not as competitive din kasi kaysa sa mga FPS games, no? For Civ 6, ito yung settings na naman. Basically, low quality. Tapos, nirun ko lang yung benchmark ko. Even though low yung settings, mukhang okay naman yung level of detail at saka very playable siya. So, around 70 FPS on average. Very smooth. And it might also be possible na taasan ng kaunti yung settings. Pero hindi ko na tinry. Since happy naman ako sa itsura niya at saka sa results. So, ang next ay FF14. Niran ko lang din yung benchmark tool nila. And this is on standard desktop quality. Nasa 45 FPS siya on most areas except for the snow na nasa 30 lang on average. Yung mga areas din na nasa 70 plus FPS, I guess low details yun. It also scored fairly high. So, tinry ko rin siyang tasan pa yung settings pero uh, nag crash na yung benchmark tool. Also, napansin ko na pag nasa snow, hindi kinakaya ng graphics card. Yun yung drop niya, no? nasa 30 FPS kapag nasa snow. So, ang next ay Apex Legends. Ito yung settings ko. Extremely crank down as, as much as I can. First time ko rin maglaro nito. And again, hindi ko naintindihan yung nangyayari. Dead sagad ako. It plays around 40 FPS. So, for FPS, I think, pagsak ito. Pero pwede mo siguro tiisin. Medyo mababa rin yung level of details for my liking to be honest. No? So I, I hope na mas taasan pa yung details sana. Pero that's besides the point. Eh? So whether playable or hindi. And currently, para sa akin, hindi siya playable. So ang next ay FF15 naman. Niran ko lang din yung benchmark tool on 1080p light mode. It plays way below 30 FPS. Indefinitely painful to watch. If ito ang budget mo at ito yung gusto mong laruin, I would highly suggest na bumili ka na lang ng PS5. Maka mas makamura ka pa kesa dito. Uh, overall, score is slightly low. Next ay Forza Horizons. Uh, ito yung settings. Nasa low basically. I also just ran the benchmark mode ng Forza. Pero I also tried playing the game and consistent naman sa benchmark. So that is around 15 to 20 FPS. Nakakahilo laruin and wouldn't suggest that you play this game on this rig. So kung sa FF15 PS5, dito bumili ka na lang ng Xbox.
Next ay COT war zone. Sorry, hindi ko na na-capture yung settings pero I think it was cracked to the lowest again. No? Hindi ko na rin dito pinakita pero during practice, uh, it was around 30 FPS. Pero itong actual game na with bots, below 20 FPS na yung average. Well, maganda yung pagka-capture, no? medyo parang smooth. Sa totoo lang during the game, hindi ko alam yung nangyayari. Uh, basta na ako bumaba rin, hindi ko alam kung... May tinatamaan ba talaga ako. Pero kada pan ko, minsan sobra. Tapos, yun, uh, pader na yun na ko. Definitely GT 1030 is not for COD Warzone. Uh, just use your mobile phone for COD siguro. So in conclusion, no, for older esports titles, uh, okay naman siya. Uh, malalaro mo naman. Medyo mababaan mo lang talaga yung settings. Pero kaya naman. It can even play games like uh, Civ 6. So kung mahilig ka sa mga 4X titles. You can also play FF14 in tolerable settings. Uh, it's up to you though. Kung tingin mo okay ba talaga yung itsura niya. Pero for AAA titles, uh, definitely... Hindi nito kaya. You need a better, I think, graphics card lang yung kailangan mo. Uh, would I recommend this setup over 3400G? Uh, definitely yes. Kasi I could swap this 1030 with a 3070. And still have the benefits of 3100. Stay tuned sa channel. Itetest ko to. Lalagay ko siya dito. So... Para makita nyo kung upgrade pat kung okay ba talaga siya. That's all for now. Subscribe na lang para pag na-publish ko na yung video na to, makita nyo agad.